Okay. RBS itself has gone through a, a fair bit of churn because of the kind of stress that you went in the last round of, of crisis. Uh, my question to you is, how are you viewing India right now? Because you've, you've uh, you know, given off the retail banking arm to HSBC and that's been a long drawn process as well. How are you viewing India right now? Well, I'm a big fan of India. I'm, I was uh, one of the original architects of putting uh, parts of our operations into India some se six, seven years ago. Um, and actually, the RBS Group has 12,000 employees still in India. So 8% of our global workforce is in India. And about 300 of those people are facing ocean-going Indian corporates and financial institutions. And we are very pleased with that business. The others are part of our global business and very much employees of RBS Group and very much contributing to the success and the rehabilitation of our group. Um, and we're very proud of them. You, you were responsible for setting up the India operation, so to say, in, in a sense, in, in terms of a strategy level. What was the rationale of moving away from the retail side? Was it part of the larger ring fencing and, and, and the changes within RBS? Because somewhere, uh, you're also telling me that the consumption story is going to be here. It's going to be a retail story over here. But why isn't RBS part of that? When we uh, combined the ABN AMRO business with the RBS business, the retail business that existed in India was, a, was the ABN AMRO business. The, it had a 0.2% market share of, of the Indian consumer and retail business. That is tourism. And we are not in the business of tourism. We have no pricing power, no capability in that tiny market share. So it would be foolish of us to continue to pursue a strategy of tourism. And w there are better owners for that business. And that is why we have sold what is a good business to HSBC to focus our, ca our, our capital, which is scarce, on areas where we truly can make a difference because we are globally good and globally uh, market leading. Mm. So going forward, if you were to look at India and, and the investments that would come through RBS into India, what kind of operations would we see in the next couple of years? How much of the focus is shifting east? I know HSBC is, is looking very aggressively into the, into the uh, uh, China and India markets. How aggressively are you watching it? Well, I, I think you will, we will continue to invest in our business in India. We will continue to support those clients we do today support in India. And they are India's most uh, large c corporates and financial institutions, those who are ocean going, who involve themselves in the sophisticated capital markets. We hope to become even more relevant and to have a larger share of the wallet of those companies. And actually, we're very pleased so far with the strategy around that. So that's, that's the first customer segment and footprint um, w remarks I've made. Mm. But in a lot of the business that you're doing, you are going to feel find a natural slowdown because corporates are not going out and raising money. They're not, they're also, you know, adopting a wait and watch. So is it going to be a little bit of a slow grind going forward yeah. amidst these in this uncertain period? Yeah, I, I, th that is possibly the case. But the thing about banking is it's a mixture of the technology, the capital and the people. We have no intellectual property rights and we have fundamentally no patents. So we reinvent what we do with our customers all day, every day, as a matter of business practice. So our job as the sort of investment banking arm of RBS, or the wholesale division of RBS, is to intermediate the capital flows of, of businesses and find liquidity for them wherever that liquidity is in the world. Okay, last question. Niche banking, I mean, it, you know, a lot of international banks came into India in the last phase of growth, and, and now they have scaled down to very niche pockets. Is that going to be the future for, for banks like yours? Because that's been a successful model. Are you not going to, if in a larger context of international banks, the second phase of banks that came into India, is it going to be niche and not trying to be mass volume players in India? I think what we need to do for our customers is what it, we are good at. And we are very good at what we are now proposing to our customers. So whether I'm dealing with a customer in foreign exchange or I'm dealing with them in the bond markets or in the provision of, the, of swaps or loans or trade finance, we are top five or six in the world in all of these products. That is what we do well, and that is what I would like our customers to come and do with us. So I'm no longer asking my customers to help me build a business that I'm not very good in. I'm asking them to work with me in partnership in businesses I am truly good in so I can advantage them and they can advantage us by helping us have a great business. So my question was more in terms of how you read the Indian market and how you see your peers looking at India. Is it about slicing it, looking at pockets and specializing in it rather than wanting to be a big player? Is, yeah. th is that phase over? In, in I think people need to come to any country, and India is a, is a great example, and bring something to the country that advantages the country and advantages your business. 
the, I, we will not succeed by just being a domestic local bank in India. There are, there are better banks positioned to do that, and I don't have the capital to pursue that model with a billion people. So what I can do is I can take what we are, our sophisticated capability globally to India's largest corporates and advantage them by something I already have, and they can advantage our business by making it more relevant. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. I think people will, should only focus on what they are good at, and anyone who comes with a broad front strategy is highly likely to fail. Well, we'll watch and see how RBS does it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.